You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. Oh, you really got me. You really got us on KSFO mornings 5 to 9. Okay, the idiot reel. Uh, Charlie Biden, uh, Charlie Wrangle, I should say, actually makes the idiot reel. Uh, again, we usually do this at the end of our 8 o'clock hour on a Friday. I don't think that's fair to our early listeners. We're now doing it during the end of the 6 o'clock hour as well. You're going to hear Obama with George Stephanopoulos. And then the entire Obama montage about keeping your doctor. We, we found out that's crap. <laughs> you, you can keep your doctor, but you're going to have to pay through the nose. Jerry Brown talking about how uh, Proposition 13, well, he was against it before he was for it. Yeah. And I don't think he's really for it. Joe Biden talking about the financial reform bill being good. Then you got Wrangle. Then Harry Reid saying that the auto bailout helped Ford, and Ford didn't get any money from the auto bailout. Then mm. Obama comes back, and Jerry Brown comes back, and then Hillary Clinton talking about knowing where bin Laden is. Then stupid Lindsey Graham saying he will vote for Elena Kagan, and then Joe Biden <laughs> welcoming uh, the new Senator Cart uh, Goodwin. Then Alan Grayson, then Obama, then Grayson, then Shirley Sherrod, then Baghdad Bob Gibbs. Oh, it's a great idiot reel. Ladies and gentlemen, let's tee it high and let it fly. If, on the other hand, we're given tax credits, we've set up an exchange, you are now part of a big pool, we've driven down the costs, and you actually can afford health insurance, but you just decided, you know what, I want to take my chances. And then you get hit by a bus, and you and I have to pay for the emergency that room That may care. be, but it's still that's, a tax that, increase. That, that, no, no that, that, that's not true, George. The, for us to say that you've got to take a responsibility to get health insurance is absolutely not a tax increase. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. Under the reform we seek, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. When I was governor last time, uh, Proposition 13 came along. Uh, yes, I opposed it, but when I got there, I rolled up my sleeves, and I not only made 13 work, but I bailed out the local government so we could protect the schools and the fire and the police. And Howard Jarvis himself said I did a hell of a job. All it is is rational control and a turning around of what the Republicans did, which is that Wall Street run wild. You've not filed taxes on properties in the Dominican Republic, it allegedly. It if that comes to be true, it is that not it doesn't a problem? It really sound like NBC okay. asking these dumb questions. No. But it just shows what has really happened to a channel that did have some respect. My friend says that we bailed out the auto industry. Well, isn't that a good thing we did? Isn't it a good thing today in America we have an automobile manufacturing sector? If it had been up to them, General Motors would be gone. If it were up to them, Ford Motor Company would probably be gone. You, you can't just make up that language and decide that that's called a tax increase. Any more, what, what, then, I, I don't think I'm making it up. Merriam-Webster's dictionary. Tax, a charge usually of money imposed by authority on persons or property for public purposes. George, the fact that you looked up Merriam's dictionary, that the definition of tax increase indicates to me that you're stretching a little bit. Right? I've also uh, worked with Mother Teresa in India. I've lived in Mexico. I've, done a lot, I've been a private lawyer. I've seen a lot of things. If there were a terrorist network operating somewhere, even in the most remote place in the United States, some sheriff... You know, some local state policeman, somebody in our collective government would probably know that there was something suspicious going on. So that's why I assume somebody, somebody in this government from top to bottom does know where uh, bin Laden is. And I'd like to know, too. I'm going to vote for her because I believe the last election had consequences. And this president chose someone who was qualified who has the experience and knowledge to serve on this court, who's in the mainstream of liberal philosophy and understands the difference between being a liberal judge and a politician. Hey, Cart, welcome. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Hey, Jay. And that, my friends, is the America that the Republicans are trying to revive. The America where people have nothing, hope for nothing, and are desperate to live for the next day. That is what the Republicans are trying to resurrect by blocking unemployment insurance day after day, 
week after week, and now month after month. After years of championing policies that turned a record surplus into a massive deficit, the same people who didn't have any problems sp spending hundreds of billions of dollars on tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans are now saying we shouldn't offer relief to middle-class Americans. Now, I know what the Republicans are thinking. They're thinking, why don't they just sell some stock? If they're in really dire straits, maybe they could take some of their art collection and send it off to the auctioneer. And if they're in deep, deep trouble, maybe these unemployed can sell one of their yachts. That's what the Republicans are thinking right now. You've heard of a lot of layoffs. Have you heard of anybody in the federal government losing their job? That's all I need to say. A lot of people involved uh, in this situation from the government's perspective on through acted without all the facts. I had at least three calls telling me the White House wanted me to resign. So the pressure came from the White House. And, and the last one asked me to pull over to the side of the road and do it. She said, well, surely they want you to pull over to the side of the road and do it. Because you are going to be on Glenn Beck tonight. Wow. Secretary Milsack, uh, is uh, has tried and is trying to reach uh, Ms. Sherrod. Uh, he will um, apologize for the events uh, of the last few days, uh, and they will talk about their next steps. I think he'd like to get us stuck back in the times of slavery. That's where I think he'd like to see all black people end up again. You, that's you, think, why you think he's racist? I think he's so vicious. Yes, I do. And I think that's why he's so vicious against a black president. And I will say this to Republicans who have blocked this bill now for months and kept food out of the mouths of children. I will say to them now, may God have mercy on your souls. The Idiot Reel, excellent job, Sherry Yee.